Should I start? Okay, hi, my name is uh, Jeff Rometta. Uh My colleague Tom was supposed to be here as well, but uh, I think he's running a little late, so we'll just uh, start. Um, what we kind of wanted to show you here today was some of the integrations between two open source projects, OpenStack and Open Daylight. And um, a lot of this demo is pretty simple. Maybe you've even seen it before, but I, I think the idea is to kind of get people thinking about the different ways in which these two projects can actually integrate and, and further enhance um, networking, right? Um, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is the ML2 mechanism driver for OpenStack Neutron. And anyone familiar with, with OpenStack um, has obviously seen this before. We're just provisioning some infrastructure here in the cloud. Um, so I'm creating a, a tenant network here. And then I'm going to launch a couple of uh, Nova instances, right? And so behind the scenes, we're using the Open Daylight plugin for for the mechanism driver uh, for OpenStack Neutron. And basically, once I go through this provisioning of infrastructure, I'll just speed through it a little bit. Um, I'll just do some quick verification um, from a user point of view, um, showing that there is actual network connectivity. So like I said, this is actually pretty pretty basic here um, at the start. Um, so we're logging in to, to one of the instances, and we're just pinging between the two hosts. So behind the scenes, the, uh, the Neutron plugin is actually using Open Daylight to provision and um, create these flows on the Open vSwitches within this OpenStack infrastructure. And here you can see the two, the two instances can ping between each other. So there's actual successful connectivity between the two. Um, from a configuration standpoint, when uh, setting up Neutron to use the, the Open Daylight plugin, basically we're just modifying a few things. So we go into the ml2conf file, uh, and you can see we're using VXLAN network type, and the mechanism driver is Open Daylight. And at the bottom, there's just a few configurations here. Uh, from a configuration standpoint, really, we're just pointing Neutron to the Open, open Daylight controller and specifying uh, the authentication credentials for it to, to manage networking. Okay. And here I'm just dumping the Open vSwitch show output, and you can see the manager is the Open Daylight controller, and we have two VXLAN tunnels between uh, some compute nodes within this cluster. So I think this is a three-node OpenStack cluster. Um, so there's like a full mesh of, of tunnels between each of these two, each of these three nodes. And here I'm just logging into the another compute node, showing the the tunnel configuration, uh, and that the manager is is Open Daylight. Okay. And. Here I'm just dumping the open flows on the open vSwitch. So here you can see that, that Open Daylight has actually programmed the open vSwitch with the flows for those instances that I launched to actually uh, communicate with one another. Okay. And just some simple commands here, Neutron Netlist showing the network we created uh, and that it's in, act, in fact a VXLAN tunnel. Okay. But uh, so moving on to some a little bit more interesting things hopefully. Um, what we can do is log into the Open Daylight controller, and so this is the Brocade Viata controller GUI. And if we log into the the Open Daylight controller, we can actually see a topology view of of the current network Im implementation. And while it looks kind of rudimentary, um, what what what's kind of important to understand is is really that. Um, Open Daylight has a global view into the entire network, and so we can use Open Daylight to essentially manage and configure the network as we need um, further than, than actual plain Neutron can do so. Um, another thing we can look at here is the uh, API Doc Explorer for Open Daylight, and from here we can actually get a view of the different data models that are available through Open Daylight. Um, and basically all the API calls, all the REST conf calls that we can make through Open Daylight to manage and configure our network. And so you can see all the different API calls. You can do get post. This is the, the Neutron section. So I'm just picking one here. I'll do a get of the Neutron networks through the Open Daylight controller. And all this basically documentation is auto-generated um, by Open Daylight. And 
so this is kind of like Postman, right? I'm just doing a get of the networks, and you can see all the OpenStack Neutron networks that have been created, including the one that, that we just built earlier. OK. Uh, moving back to the OpenStack dashboard. Here we can just create an additional network. And after I create this network, I'm going to create a virtual router. And in the case of the virtual router that we're using here, we're using the Layer 3 Services plugin for the Viata virtual router. So what we're doing is we're actually launching a, a Nova instance of the Viata vRouter uh, as a tenant router within this OpenStack cloud. So this is using the Layer 3 Services plugin for Neutron for the vRouter. Once we connect these to these networks, right, um, essentially Open Daylight can be used to, to manage and configure this vRouter um, in addition to what's available through Neutron. So here I'm just connecting that vRouter to those two networks I created. And once that's done, we can move over back over to the Open Daylight GUI. And so we have an application. This is just an example application of showing uh, how to manage uh, NetConf devices through Open Daylight. And it's called the, the vRouter 5600 EMS. Um, and so what, I'm, what you can see here is basically I can mount virtual routers within this GUI. Uh, they show up in the topology here. Uh, and I can just do this by adding the device name, specifying an IP address, and providing the credentials to log in. Um, so basically, I'm going to mount that vRouter that I had just launched within the OpenStack cloud. And so you can see it in the topology below here. And what I can do with this EMS app is essentially create an IPsec tunnel between uh, that vRouter we just launched in the cloud and maybe another vRouter at an, a different OpenStack cloud or, or another site somewhere else uh, just by clicking the Create Tunnel button. And so behind the scenes, this, this controller is actually using those REST conf calls um, that we were looking at before to basically provision the IPsec VPN tunnel on the vRouter that we launched within the OpenStack cloud. OK. So pretty simple demo. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show kind of the integrations that, that are available between Open Daylight and OpenStack, right? Um, so we have the ML2 mechanism driver for managing Layer 2 networking. Uh, we're also showing uh, Layer 3 management and configuration, uh, as well as Open Daylight apps that can do any sort of management configuration of of virtualized VNF devices, right? The vRouter, we can create IP, IPsec tunnels between different sites. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you have any uh, questions, you can come uh, see me or check out our booth over at Catacorner to this, uh, to this area here. Cool. Thank you.